end of 2009, the end of a year, and the end of a decade. And I thought before we got into 2010, it would be good to look back at some of the things that we covered at Hard Tack and Hard Times, the history blog of the Kingsport Times News. This year, the blog site's video started out with more of a Revolutionary War flair as we went to Martin Station. When I arrived at Martin Station, it was a steady rain, which seemed to be a theme for the year. But the rain soon cleared, and one of the first things we learned is what happens when you mouth off to a sergeant. Now, as your sergeant, lad, yes, sir. <laughs> step with me over here. Well, you know, you open your mouth too much right away, lad. You Put know. him in the stocks. Oh. More than happy to. Put him in the stocks. More than happy to, sir. Now, the next time you want to spout off your tongue, let your pride think before your tongue does, lad. After Martin Station, we went to the blockhouse at Natural Tunnel State Park, where we got to hear the Cherokee side of a land dispute. He knows that at the end of the French War, your king made promise, and he signed a law called Proclamation of 1763. He said along the Blue Ridge, to the east belonged your people, everything to the west belonged to ours, and you could never, ever buy it. It is not a sale. He is a rogue. I have not sold anything for the Henderson. He is a judge. He knows the law. He knows us. Now, you say you fight against your king. I do not care, because your Congress in Philadelphia has also ruled the same thing. He has not bought land. He cannot sell it. And your own governor has already ruled this, Patrick Henry in Williamsburg. So we all know, you know, you know, you cannot take that land because it is not his land. It still belongs to our nation. After the siege at the blockhouse, we got into our first Civil War event of the year in Blountville, Tennessee. This is a new event, and for a new event, we had new recruits, and we got to meet two of them, one Union and one Confederate. First time in actual battle. And what is your name? Okay. And what unit are you with? Okay. And who's this person with you here? Salon Dad, Perry Carr. Okay. And what are you looking forward to today? I don't know, maybe just uh, actually get to shoot. Actually get to shoot. <laughs> shoot shoot a few Johnny Rebs, huh? Yeah. Seen the elephant for the first time today and what's your name? Josh Webb. Okay, and where are you from? Originally, Michigan. Ah, that's fine. Many a fine person saw the light. <laughs> okay, and what unit are you with today? 19th Tennessee. 19th Tennessee. And who's this instructing you here today? Uh, I'm his cousin. I'm First Sergeant Dan Webb. All right. So what, what are you expecting to see today in the battle? Victory. 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 We win. Historical reenacting is not just about battles, but about the way people live their lives. We met some people this year who demonstrated the different crafts needed to survive in those times. Please. My name is George Matthews. I make Windsor chairs, and I'm from Winston Salem, North Carolina. My name is Gary Chandler. I'm from North Carolina. I've been doing this for some 40, 45 years, since 1968. What got you interested in gunsmithing? Uh, Fess Parker, when he played Davy Crockett back in 1955. My name is Rudy Engelmeyer. I am, uh, live in Elizabeth, and I'm not from around here. Born in Austria, live in, live in New York for 37 years, but I love it down here. I learned how to spin about oh, 15 years ago. What we're doing here today is a competition that used to be around for us oh, probably centuries at all the country fairs. They always used to have a competition to see who could spin faster and read faster. Before the Civil War reenactments go this year, it was kind of a slow year. The battle at Blue Springs was canceled, and I missed both the Jonesville battle and Battle at Gladesville, otherwise known as Wise. 
But Zolik Koffer came to the rescue at the end of the year with a fine reenactment. And we also asked some people why they did what they did. And here are a few of their answers and some of the battle. My name's Randy Bikes and I'm with the 50th Virginia uh, Infantry. I do this because I've always enjoyed history and had an interest in the Civil War and there's just no better way to learn history than to get out here and try to live it. I'm Joey Verbal of the 50th Virginia Company H. Uh, we portray a unit out of Southwest Virginia that mustered out of the Wise County Courthouse. Uh, most of our uh, members have relatives out of the Virginia units. They're, uh, Ancestors actually fought in the Virginia unit, so we wanted to portray a Virginia unit. I'm Mitchell Levesey, and I reenact because my great great grandfather Rian was a, a real Civil War soldier. He was a sergeant in the 43rd Tennessee, and that's what we are. That's our review of 2009. I'd like to thank everybody that put up with me, and I hope that 2010 treats us a lot better. Now, before we leave, I'd like for everybody to check out this young fiddler who played at Netherland Inn. He surprised everybody, and I think he'll surprise you too. So, Happy New Year, and I salute everybody till next year. Thank you very much. To the stage today in the eight and under category, please make welcome. Come on there, big man. Carson Peters. Hello, my name's Fiddling my name my nickname is Fiddling Carson Peters. I'm gonna I'm gonna play my first song is gonna be Shokin' Farewell. Hello.